Have you ever felt like life is closing in on you? Like no matter how hard you try, the world keeps piling on more challenges? Today, we're going to ask God for His protection. But before we pray together, I want you to remember this. No storm is too great for the one who holds the universe in His hands. Stay with me. Because we're not just asking for protection. We're declaring it over your life right now. There's a powerful story in the Bible about God's protection that I want to share with you today. It's a story about faith, courage, and God's unwavering care for His people. Imagine a man, faithful to God, praying with his window open, even though he knows. It could cost him his life. That man was Daniel. And what happens next is nothing short of miraculous. Daniel lived in a time when the king had absolute power, and anyone who disobeyed his commands would face severe punishment. The king, manipulated by jealous officials, issued a decree. No one could pray to any god or human, except him, for thirty days. But Daniel, being faithful to God, continued to pray, just as he had always done. He didn't hide it. He didn't change his routine, even though he knew the consequences. The officials who were jealous of Daniel's favor with the king saw this as their moment to strike. They rushed to the king and told him, Daniel is disobeying your decree. He continues to pray to his God, not to you. The king, though fond of Daniel, was bound by his own law. Reluctantly, he ordered that Daniel be thrown into the lion's den. A dark, cold pit filled with hungry lions. Now, imagine for a moment what Daniel must have felt. He stood at the edge of the lion's den, knowing that these wild beasts were waiting for him. There was no way out, no last-minute rescue. He was thrown into the pit, and the entrance was sealed with a stone. But even in that moment of darkness, Daniel remained calm. He knew something that the king and the officials didn't. He knew that God was with him, even in the midst of danger. And here's where the story takes an incredible turn. The Bible tells us that God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. They didn't touch Daniel. They didn't even growl at him. In the darkest, most hopeless situation, Daniel was untouched and completely protected by the power of God. The next morning, the king rushed to the lion's den. He called out, Daniel, has your God saved you? And from the depths of the den, Daniel answered, Yes, my God sent his angel. And he shut the mouths of the lions. I have not been harmed. The king was overjoyed. He had Daniel lifted out of the pit, unharmed, and completely safe. This story reminds us that no matter how dangerous or hopeless the situation may seem, God's protection surrounds us. Just as he sent an angel to protect Daniel, he watches over us, guarding us from dangers seen and unseen. The same God who delivered Daniel from the lions is here with us today. His hand of protection is over you too even in your darkest moments. If you're feeling surrounded by challenges, if life feels like a lion's den, remember this story. God is with you, just as he was with Daniel. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude, trusting in your mighty hand of protection, just as you were with Daniel in the lion's den, shielding him from harm. We believe that you are with us now, in every moment, and in every place. Your presence is our safety, our comfort, and our strength. You are the God who sees all things, who knows every detail of our lives, and we rest in the assurance that nothing escapes your care. Lord, surround us with your angels. Place a hedge of protection around us 
our families, our homes, and all that we hold dear. We know that dangers can come from many directions, some that we see, and others that we do not. But, you, Lord, see everything. You know every threat before it even reaches us. So we ask that you cover us with your wings, that no harm would come near us, no evil would touch us, because we dwell in the safety of your arms. Just as you shut the mouths of the lions for Daniel, we ask that you silence any force that seeks to harm us. Father, I lift up those who are feeling vulnerable right now. There are many who feel exposed, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Strengthen them, Lord. Remind them that you are their shield, their strong defender. You have promised to be our refuge in times of trouble, and we hold fast to that promise today. For those facing situations that feel overwhelming, remind them that you are bigger than the battle they face. Guard their hearts and their minds from fear, Lord. Fear has no place where your perfect love abides. Let your love cast out every fear and let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard their minds in Christ Jesus. I pray, Lord, for peace to fill every anxious heart, for those who are restless, for those who are worrying about what tomorrow holds. Let them feel the calm of your presence right now. Breathe your peace into every room they enter, into every conversation they have, into every step they take. May they walk with the confidence that you are with them, that your angels stand guard over them. Even when the world around them feels uncertain, let them find security in the certainty of your protection. We declare your promise from Psalm 91. You said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, we declare that we are under your shadow, sheltered by your loving care. You said that you would command your angels concerning us, to guard us in all our ways. We trust in that promise today, knowing that you are faithful to watch over us, to guide our steps, and to keep us from harm. Let us find rest in the knowledge that you are constantly at work, even when we cannot see it. You go before us, Lord clearing the path, and making the way straight. Father, we thank you for fighting our battles. There are struggles we face that we cannot fight on our own, but we don't have to, because you go before us. You are our protector, our deliverer, and our strong tower. We run to you and find safety. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No plan of the enemy can succeed, because you are our refuge. We rest in your strength, knowing that you hold us in the palm of your hand, and nothing can snatch us away from your care. Lord, we lift up those who feel surrounded by darkness. Remind them that just as you brought light into the deepest of pits for Daniel, you can bring light into their situation. You are the God who turns darkness into light, who makes a way where there seems to be no way. For those battling fear, doubt, or uncertainty, we ask that you would break through their darkness with the brilliance of your love. Remind them that you are not far from them, that you are walking beside them, protecting them from all harm. Lord, we stand in awe of your faithfulness. You have never failed us, and we know that you never will. In the quietness of this moment, we release our burdens to you. We let go of our worries and our fears. We choose to trust you with all that we are. Whatever tomorrow holds, we know that you hold tomorrow. You are our hope, 
our refuge, and our salvation. And we declare that we will walk in the confidence of your protection all the days of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Before you go, I encourage you to type Amen and save this prayer. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, come back and pray along with me.